and Mr. Ike made the call and he's decided he wants to wait a few minutes because it's, it's only about, it's about 325 and we can, we can hunt till about 5 o'clock. So hopefully the wind will stay like it is and we're going to watch him for a little while because he's real young. And Mr. Ike's got a pretty good deal working. His uncle is a, a real good taxidermist named Jeff Swab. And he promised that the first buck that Ike kills, he'll mount for him. So, uh, we're, uh oh, he's looking back in the woods now, but we're going to, uh, we're going to let him stay out there a little while and just see if something maybe a little bit bigger shows up because we'd like to get him a little small red buck if we could. We're going to have fun watching him right now. After watching these deer in the Imperial Whitetail Clover Field for a while, young Ike's heart instantly goes from zero to 60 miles an hour when a rack buck steps out into the field. Man's head. Hey, when you put the hammer on him like that, when you put a pole on that, oh man, what a shot! Unbelievable. Man, that's a, that's a good hunt. What is that, Greg? A good 150 yards away. Yeah, that's a good shot. I don't know if you ever run I off or not. I just looked up and saw that wild guy. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs>